which takes us to separable differential equations. So when we talk about separable differential equations, we've kind of been doing this already. If we have a dy by dx, we can, if we can separate this implicit function on this side here, this is a function in terms of x and in terms of y. So this is an implicit function. But if we can separate these parts by times and divide, okay, where we can have the dx go with the, the x functions and the, the dy go with the y function, and if we can separate them with times and divide, we can then easily set up this integral here where these the dx part goes to the above sorry the numerator in the right hand side and the h of y goes into the denominator on the left hand side well if we can generate these parts like this we can integrate both sides okay so this is how we start with a uh, implicit function like this one here and we can actually integrate these implicit derivatives so this is the derivative implicit derivative if we can separate out Okay, by times and divide, we can anti-differentiate these implicit derivatives. So it's going to look like this. I end up with, I'll do this in color. I end up with dy times 5y squared is equal to, on the right-hand side, I'm going to move the dx over. It's going to be equal to 4x dx. Well, I have my dy with Y, y variables, I have my dx with x variables, so I can integrate both sides of that and say that the sums of those are going to be equivalent as well. There I have my derivative. And this works because I can algebraically separate these variables by times and divide. And when we have pluses in there, it's going to be a problem, so we're not going to be able to do those. Uh, there are other techniques for that. But for now, we're going to have to be able to separate them with times and divide. So just integrating this now, I know this is going to be 5y cubed over 3. That's going to be equal to 4x squared over 2 plus c. There's my implicit function. Okay, now I can solve for y. So sometimes we want to solve for y. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 3 and divide by so I get y cubed equals 3 over 5. And that's going to be 2x squared plus c. Okay, so now that c starts becoming embedded in the function, okay, it's no longer the, always going to be the y-intercept. Okay, but that's fine. We can, we can easily accommodate that. So this is going to end up being the cube root of 3 fifths 2x squared plus c. And we can solve for c at any point in time if we're given some initial condition. Okay, so this one here again, we need to be able to separate out our x and y by multiplication. If we can do that, then we can rewrite this in terms of one side equal to dy's, the other side equal to dx's. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the square root, the 2 out of here. I'm just going to say 2. And I'm going to keep the square root y dy on this side. Okay, because I want to keep that dy on this side here. So I'm going to end up with root y dy. Okay, on the other side, the dx is going to go. Okay, so it's going to go into the numerator of the other side. And that means that I have to divide by root x to get the x onto that side. Again, it has to be times and divide. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to generate these expressions that we want. Once we have the y separated from the x's and the dy's and the dx on the right sides, we can just integrate both sides of that. Okay. So on this side, when I integrate that, that's going to be y to the power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. And that's equal to, when I integrate that side, I think it end up with x to the 1 half over 1 half, all right, like that, plus c. Okay, and then simplifying that expression, I get 4 over 3, y to 3, and that's equal to 2 root x plus c. Now, again, we can leave it like that implicitly, but sometimes we're asked to solve explicitly for y, so I'll do it again. So I'm going to end up with y to the 3 over 2 
is equal to 3 quarters times 2 root x plus c. And then I'm going to apply the root to this side. Okay, so it's going to be root the cube root. Actually, I'm just going to leave it as a power. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this as a power of 2 thirds. Okay, so there's my explicit function. Here's my implicit function. And if I've given an initial condition, I can solve for C.